Well, 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 drivers, drivers of YouTube, lockout men here. Welcome back. Now that I got your guys' attention on, we are here with another post. Now, check this out, man. Check this out. I've been driving for going on seven years or so. You know, the present company, I have been here for a little bit over two years enjoying my time with the company now let's just say for whatever reason whatever reason the time with the companies come to an impasse it comes to a situation that really can't be worked out by both driver and company and it's time for the driver to maybe try his hand at a different company of sorts, right? It happens. It happens to all of y'all. It, it, it does. It does. It happens to all of y'all. At one point or another, it, it happens, you know. But who is the responsibility lies upon? of getting you home right getting you back home now i i heard through my travels that you know a lot of people tell the companies that they are about to quit and they need to get home uh where to bring this truck back to right now some companies are cool with that they'd be like hey you know just bring it back to this terminal right here or this yard right here or leave it at this place over here cool no problem no problem um okay that's a respect thing other companies you tell them that you're trying to quit they either they either try to mess around what you won or two times the way the two times the way is, hey, I want to get home. Uh, I stay in Baltimore, but yet you're sending me loads that's not getting close to Baltimore. You're sending me loads that's going a little bit farther away from Baltimore, and I need to be back in Baltimore by this time. Now, mind you, you giving them a couple of weeks, maybe, and you say that you need to be home at this time well no problem the problem is is they keep sending you loads that's getting you farther and farther and farther and time is short and short and short away from baltimore that's a problem a huge problem because you need to be home and they and they in the midst of messing with you because you don't want to work for them no more or you gave them the pretense of you don't want to work for them no more right that case that part right there mm -hmm. now now on the on the top side of that companies will sit you you say, hey, boss, um, I'm about to, you know, I'm about to quit. I'm giving you my two weeks notice, whatever, whatever. You know, I need to get home back to Baltimore. No problem. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, So is you going to send me a load? Oh, we don't we, we don't have no loads right now. Uh, OK, Um, we'll, we'll let you know when some loads become available. All right, well, I, 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 I kind of like the need to be home by such and such day. Are, are we going to get me rolling so I can get there? Because I'm assuming that I'm going to have to drop the truck off to wherever you need me to drop the truck off at. And then I'm going to have to find my way home. Okay, yeah, we, we working on it. We working on it. Eight hours pass, 16 hours pass, 24 hours pass. Now your 34 hour is up. 
another eight hours after that maybe five hours after that now now it's one two three four about three days that has passed now they got you a load now you got to go and pick up that load you got to wait then you got to start driving that load you're driving then you got to drop off that load you got to wait and then they're gonna probably head you to whatever terminal and then after that you will get home but mind you is way after the time you needed to be home now that's you know that's back to the question do you give notice or do you give no notice you know what i'm saying when it comes time for you to step off you know what i'm saying do you give a note do you be nice and give a notice and get effed in the pretense or do you give no notice take care of you take care of what you need get the truck back to where it needs to be and then go on about your business how is that going to work and how, how that's going to work on your after assessment uh you know leaving or whatever right so question what is the repercussions for taking a truck because the company don't want you to get home after you leave or get let go well the repercussions is this that truck is not yours right so here's how all this is going to fall into play right so let's say if you get terminated right the company is going to want you to drop that truck where they want the truck to be so if they terminate you on the road they're going to want that truck at maybe a loves ta petro whatever they want it at a truck stop right okay you decide not to leave it at the truck stop but you decide you say you want to get home you up in baltimore or you live up in baltimore but you and the truck is down south you see where this going so if you decide fuck it i'm not gonna be stranded i'm gonna take this truck up to baltimore and then they can come and get it well let me tell you what might happen along your travels number one your fuel car is going to get cut off they're going to x that they're going they're going to x that so you might have enough fuel to get you up to south carolina maybe georgia okay after that you ain't going to be able to drive because you don't have no fuel now let's say if they don't let's say if they cut off the fuel card and you decide to put $15 here, $15 there, which is only going to be like a drop in the semi truck. It's not like you're driving a car, my guy. But if you if you decide to do that and still drive the truck, then by all intents and purposes, that's Grand Theft Auto. They can call the they can call the laws. They can call the police. They can put an APP out on your truck. And then when somebody sees your truck, they're going to pull you over. You're going to get arrested for uh, Grand Theft Auto. And you could turn around and be like, yo, I, I, I work for the company. No, no, you're, you, you don't work for the company. The truck don't belong to you. It's assigned to you. So that's that's the repercussions right there. You know, you can go to jail. You can be you can be charged for grand theft auto. <laughs> Other repercussions are that they'll put it on your DAC report. You know, they terminate you. You drove the truck, and then you're not supposed to. <clears throat> you're not supposed to, and bam, bam, boom. They put it on your DAC report. You go to this new illusionist company. They look at your dat report they seen what you did at the other trucking company and they ain't gonna want to fuck with you because they 
probably might feel that you might treat them or do them the same way. Nah, bruh. I can't mess with you. Sorry. That's That could be the repercussions. Also, the repercussions could be uh, could be simple. Free rent, food, and utilities for a specific time frame to be determined by a man in a long black robe. <laughs> what if you get pissed off and you say, F this company, and you decide to leave the truck where the truck is at? That's abandonment. That's a uh, CDL career suicide. Now, some people may come in and say, hey, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Because I, I've seen a few posts where people have done that. They dropped their truck off and left it abandoned wherever, but they still got with another company. They kind of like overlook that and say, hey, we'll bring you in with open arms couple of companies do that a lot of black ops companies do that they don't they don't go to your uh DAC report be lucky because let's say for example if a company really really doing you bad and you feel some kind of way you just want to get up out of the truck and just say fuck it obviously nine times out of ten that's what you're gonna do but just know some legit companies do take abandonment very, very serious. But what other repercussions are there, right? I mean, the law determines, or at least that's what they say. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if this in the law books or anything because, you know, people be commenting on, on social media just to hear what they got to say. But they say law requires for you to return the truck to the owner's home terminal or location determined by the owner. Could be a real problem if you don't. Well, I agree with you to that extent. It is a real problem if you don't. But is it law, though? Is it law for you to return the owner's truck to a specific location? What if you can't get it to that location? What if you just say, hey, bro, here, I'm going to leave it right here. Then if they're going to leave it right there, that's going to be number one, abandonment anyway. But number two, I mean, really, you're going to call the police on that guy and say, yo, this dude abandoned my truck in Timbuktu. Uh, I, need, I, 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 need to, uh, I need to file charges. For what? He just left the truck. He didn't take the truck. He didn't drive the truck. He just left the truck. He abandoned the truck. So is there law for that? I don't know. I don't know. And then when it comes down to getting you home, who's responsible for that? Right? Let me know in the comments below who do you think is responsible for getting you home? Is it the company's responsibility to get you home after you quit or turn, get terminated? Or is it yours to get yourself home after you quit and or terminate? Right? I mean, I feel if you quit, it's not the responsibility of the company to do anything for you. You know, I mean, if you quit, then the company is going to be like, we're done. Why, why should I worry about getting you home for you quit? Now, there could be a saying, a two-way saying for getting terminated. Now, if you get terminated, then maybe the company might feel something for you to get you home so you won't be stranded. Maybe. Or, again, it's not the company's responsibility. They terminated you. That means they don't want your service no more. So why should they worry about getting you home? Just think about that. Now, here's my thing with it all, okay? Here's my thing. Always have you some money. I mean, I, I've seen way too many of you guys being stranded, being kicked off of trucks, 
hopping on YouTube, making live videos, talking about I ain't got no money. I'm waiting. They they stealing my money. They telling me they 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 not giving me my money, and I'm stuck here in ten buck two with no money and all like that. No, no sir, no ma'am. Always have some residual money, even if you have to start up a savings account on cash app a savings account on chime something every time you get paid you should put something away fifty dollars here a hundred dollars there if you get paid a good check put about a hundred dollars away if you get paid a bad check put about fifty dollars away so that you will have some money in case of anything happens you won't be left out there for broke. You won't be out there. You won't be out there lot lizzing, <laughs> if that's a word. <laughs> but any in, in any case, I just hope you guys, you know, take this, listen, and 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 take it with you. Take it with you. All right. Big G's got it locked. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound And I want you to miss me when I'm not around Come dive in my ocean, sip on my push My love is like lotion, it's all over you You all over me, cause you my little boo How many times I gotta tell you, don't fuck around Cause they got you insecure, you your feelings now Don't start with all that crazy shit